Howdy folks, Doc Fox back here with you, New Smyrna Times. We are going to go in and check on this bronze colored Dodge Ram Dually that is out here in the disabled spot to ensure they are parked there properly. If you can catch the reflection, gloved and masked. Two different you have to do one for the business oh okay awesome so we just get rid of this for okay. a big deal and then i'll give you another one and, it, and then so the other one you'll check business okay and leave that off and just do martin enterprises right there okay, okay. there's two different names in there so it should have well okay it's under martin enterprise and also alloy wheels so should I do two? Yeah, otherwise, because it's forward by name, so it won't forward by address. It's forward by name and address is how it works. Okay. So one for each of those. Yes, sir. All right. Good morning. Hey, how are you, brother? Good, how are you? Excellent. Hey, my name is uh, Doc Fox with New Smyrna Times. I'm down here doing a story on some of the public facilities in uh, Oak Hill. And one of the things I came across, I noticed there's a uh, bronze Dodge Dually parked in a disabled spot back there, but I don't see any disabled placards or insignia. And right. one of the things we do is actually a segment called BS Exposed, and that's one of the things we do is uh, disabled parking. So while I was down here, I just wanted to double check and find out from you if it's legally parked there or if perhaps somebody has parked there unlawfully no it's legally parked there okay so the person who's parked there does have a disabled pass it's the postmaster we don't have anybody that's disabled that works for us okay can i speak with the postmaster then here. thank you <clears throat> mr simmons Yes, sir. Hey, how are you, sir? Good, how are you? Excellent, thank you. Name's Doc Fox with New Smyrna Times. I said your name was Mr. Simmons. Uh-huh. You're the postmaster here? I am. I was inquiring, I was actually down here doing a story on Oak Hill and some of the public facilities, and in doing the library, I noticed there was a Dodge Ram dually bronze in color that's unlawfully parked in a disabled spot back there if it does not have a disabled parking placard. So I was just coming in. One of the things we actually do on our BS Exposed uh, videos is disabled parking. We actually have something going on right now with uh, Volusia County Beach Safety so uh, in their District 4 office. So anyway, I was speaking with the gentleman and he said nobody here has a disability, um, but somebody's parked there. So I just wanted to get some information on that, please. The information is it's employee parking and we don't have any disabled employees. So right now we're using the parking for whoever is there because it's not, that's not employee parking, but that's not public parking back there. Okay. So we're required to have a disability parking spot for a disabled employee, and we don't have any. So we just use the parking spot as normal. All right, but you're aware that that's a violation of Florida law, 316-1955, Section 1? Okay. Would you be willing to move it? Please? I'll let you talk to whoever you want to talk to. I'm not moving my truck because you come in here and ask me to. Okay. So, there's your card back. All right, thank you very much. Uh-huh. Mr. Simmons it was? Yes, sir. Do you have any sort of federal ID number? No. No, excellent. All right, folks. Here you are, miss, let me hold the door for you. Thank you. You're very welcome.
Are you looking for me? How you doing, Mr. Simmons? I'm curious, would you like to go on record as discussing perhaps why it took so much to get you to move your truck that was unlawfully parked? Guess we'll take that as a no from the silence, guys. Hey, brother. May I purchase a stamp, please? Yeah, 55 cents. All right. You got any of the dragon ones, do you? No. No, okay, no worries. They're a book, they're a book, anyway. book only. Okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you very much, Maurice. Welcome. Appreciate you your help. You do the Be same. Safe. Yes, sir. You too. Thank you for your help. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So that concludes our trip here at the Oak Hill Post Office. Head north. But freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it on to our children in the bloodstream. The only way they can inherit the freedom we have known is if we fight for it, protect it, defend it, and then hand it to them with the well-taught lessons of how they in their lifetime must do the same. And if you and I don't do this, then you and I may well spend our sunset years telling our children and our children's children what it once was like in America when men were free. Thank you.